In this video, we're going to learn how to perform image segmentation using Google Earth Engine. We'll use k-means clustering to group pixels based on their spectral properties, and I'll explain every step along the way. Let's get started. First, we define our area of interest, or AOI. In this case, we're focusing on a rectangular region around San Francisco. We use the ee.geometry.rectangle function, which takes four coordinates, the minimum longitude and latitude, followed by the maximum longitude and latitude. These coordinates form a bounding box that limits our analysis to this specific area. Next, we load satellite data from the Sentinel-2 Surface Reflectance Harmonized Collection. This dataset provides high-quality imagery that has been atmospherically corrected for analysis. We use the filter bounds function to select only the images that intersect with our AOI and filter date to narrow them down to the year 2020. To create a single, clean image, we calculate the median value for each pixel across all selected images, which helps reduce noise. Finally, we use clip to crop the image. Now that we have our processed image, we add it to the map for visualization. Here, we're displaying it in true color using bands B4, B3, and B2, which represent the red, green, and blue parts of the spectrum. The min and max values define how bright or dark the image appears, helping us see the features clearly. Let's take a moment to run the code and check out the image. To prepare for image segmentation, we need to choose which spectral bands to analyze. I've selected bands B2, B3, B4, and B8, which correspond to the blue, green, red, and near-infrared parts of the spectrum. These bands are particularly useful for identifying features like vegetation, water, and built-up areas. Next, we sample pixel values from the image to create a dataset for clustering. Sampling means randomly selecting a subset of pixel values from the chosen bands. Here, we extract 5,000 pixels at a spatial resolution of 30 meters. This dataset provides the input for training the k-means algorithm. Now we create and train the k-means cluster. K-means is an unsupervised learning algorithm that groups similar data points into clusters. Here, we specify that we want five clusters, meaning the algorithm will group the pixels into five distinct categories based on their spectral properties. We also set the maximum number of iterations to 10 to ensure the clustering process runs efficiently. Once the clusterer is trained, we apply it to our image. This step assigns each pixel to one of the five clusters, creating a new band in the image where each pixel is labeled with its corresponding cluster. Finally, we visualize the clustering results. To make the clusters easy to interpret, we use the random visualizer function, which assigns random colors to each cluster. This makes it simple to see the segmented regions and their boundaries on the map.
And that's how you perform image segmentation using K-means clustering in Google Earth Engine. With this approach, you can analyze land cover, vegetation, and other features in any region. Try experimenting with different areas and cluster numbers to see how the results change. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more GE content.